Hey, it's Jason here. Uh, another episode of What Have We Here. Um, I wanted to do this one because, uh, well, before we get to that, please like, share, subscribe, uh, comment, all that good stuff. And uh, what I was going to do here was the Transformers uh, Shockwave. Um, this was one that was supposed to be out, I think it was like August 6th or so, as part of FunCon. And it was pushed back. I think I picked it up like a week ago or something. And I just hadn't done a video yet. Um, but I found them in Target. I couldn't get it online. I'm sh maybe it'll show up online. I haven't really been checking since I found them. Um, but it, it was in store. I haven't seen a lot of them in store, even when I've been going around. There's only been a few, so I don't know if they're just, they didn't get a whole lot yet, or if they're just, uh, selling out quicker. I'm not, I'm not real certain. Um, but I definitely haven't seen as many as, like, uh, I think I was at Target and seen the, the Vader Retro, and they must have had like, uh, maybe around 10 still on the shelf. I don't know when they went on the shelf. So, I mean, that it may be just the Shockwaves sold quicker, but I kind of I kind of doubt it. I kind of am guessing they just got more Vaders because they figure Star Wars is more popular than a 80s cartoon version of Shockwave. Um, pull out here there there is no backing like some of them had the backing inside recently behind the plastic molding there's nothing there um, we got a big block here obviously um, pull him out standard molding he's got a little bit of the, the transformers they always they're, I mean they're not, like heads are so I mean they just feel so heavy compared to like here, I'll, I'll put Vader in the picture. Now his head is just, it just seems massive compared to Vader. And uh, it feels like it's massive too. And I don't know if that's because his bobblehead's got a or hollow valve or more maybe. Because uh, where the spring goes up in there and stuff. But it just feels like a very blocky, very top heavy. Um, head heavy, I guess. It's pretty cool. You got the, uh, try and, I guess I don't have my, oh well, I think this will, this will be okay. Do my 360. As always, you know, I'm doing product spotlight videos as well. Just a quick minute rotation, a minute video, and I'll probably be changing it up a little bit, how I'm filming it. Um, but anyways, this is Shockwave, you know, the Cyclops Transformer, basically. Anyways, his fist and his laser cannon, or whatever it's called, are, are translucent, sort of. They're like a translucent purple, which is cool. Um, the chest piece here kind of looks like it has a piece of the transparent plastic in there. Um, like I said, check out the spotlight video, you get a better view. I think part of it's right now where my lights are. I don't have them back far enough. Um, you could zoom in possibly and get a better shot here, but uh, check out the product spotlight video. It's got the uh, this hose running for his, I guess his cannon. Um, it's not like super squishy. It's a fairly hard piece of plastic, but I mean, you can move it a little bit. But uh, other than that, you know, the head turns a little bit. Um, Pretty nice piece. I, I, I mean, I like the Transformers just because I'm an 80s kid as far as cartoons um, when I was growing up. And Transformers were a big line that I had a lot of, and I tried to watch all the cartoons. I watch everything basically Transformers related. Some of the newer stuff I haven't really watched if it's been like little kitty kind of. But I've watched the new Netflix stuff, uh, War on Cybertron stuff that's really good. Um, anyways, thanks for watching.